Hey besties, happy Sunday, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a confession to make. I think I put out my videos in the wrong order. <laughs> Today, I kind of want to follow up on a video that I posted earlier, showed you my favorite ways to elevate outfits with accessories, right? That was a fun video. I really enjoyed sharing that with you, but when I watched it back myself, I'm like, didn't I just skip a step? We did never, we did never, we never <laughs> spoke about like my favorite fall staples. And I think the staples should come before accessorizing, right? So we're backtracking a little bit. We're starting a series in uh, hindsight. But you know, the world is not perfect. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. No one is perfect, they say, right? So please bear with me. Today we're talking about my fall staples that I think everyone should have in their wardrobe. They're timeless, classic, chic. Stunning, for the lack of a better word. I think having these items in your wardrobe should be a human right if you have similar style to me. These are not specific items, these are categories of items, right? So it's not one of these, you need these specific items to be chic for fall. No, we're just talking about essentially the staples, I think, make up a great ensemble for fall. We're talking through my top five fall staples. We're also talking through some pieces that I think are all year round staples, which some I'm wearing currently. They're sparkling, they're super cute. I've partnered with Miss Blue on this video. They have gorgeous jewelry pieces, but more on them later. First, we talk about the most obvious one of them all, blazers. Blazers for fall, groundbreaking, right? But I think blazers in fall, they're not blazers. They're jackets, they're blazers, they're outerwear. But depending on where you live, right, the type of blazer that you want may differ quite vastly. For me personally, I live in Sweden. It's kind of cold in fall, or at least I'm manifesting it to be cold. Currently, it's like 20 degrees. Th this is not fall. Fall should be pumpkin spice lattes. Fall should be pumpkins. Fall should be like orange and brown leaves in the trees. It should not be 20 degrees. Not in Sweden. So I'm a little bit disappointed this far, but let's just hope the temperatures cool down. Let's just hope. I don't know. Fall is falling soon. <laughs> The brain is not braining. <laughs> it's one of those seasons where you can either continue to wear your summer favorites because it's still 20 degrees outside, but you can pair them in a little bit more of a fall appropriate manner, right? Or you can just bring out all of your wool blazers and wear them happily ever after. For example, this is my Max Mara linen blazer. I still wear this. I kind of wear this as a light outer layer. Over, for example, a little sweater, I think, do not put away your linen blazers just yet, especially if you're someone who works in a professional environment. You have to be in meetings. Sometimes those meeting rooms, the, the AC does not know what it's doing. Like in summer, you're sweating. In winters, you're freezing. Like the AC is never ACing. I need to stop making things uh, the brain is not braining type vibes. But okay, wear all your favorite linen blazers for fall. Pair them in outfits. I will show you some examples, right? I will also put out a video talking through the outfits so that we get to talk through in details these outfits, the important things in life, right? But this is a new blazer in my collection. I actually did not buy this pre-loved. Oh my gosh, who is she? This is a Ralph Lauren polo Ralph Lauren blazer, I should say. This I got in a cute little boutique in my town. It was 50% off. It's 100% linen. The lining is cotton. It's a size four. I think it fits me perfectly. And I'm just obsessed with this. So just keep wearing your favorite linen blazers in fall as long as it's warm. Then we upgrade to something that's a little bit more fall appropriate. This is one of my grandma's blazers. This is just a fall color that never goes out of style. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I am waiting. No one has corrected me this far. This is just the perfect fall blazer. Get yourself a green blazer that has like a gorgeous shape for your liking. And that is just like a forever type piece. Obviously my grandma wore this, I'm wearing it. And we're so happy about it. When it gets even colder, pull out your like heavy wool blazers. This is a wool blazer from Brooks Brothers. It has the fabulous little gold buttons. It's a little schoolboy type of blazer shape and it's just fabulous. I've, I've shown this on my channel a billion times, 
But then we have something more exciting. Oh my gosh. I found a wool Hermes blazer. This is an Hermes blazer, like a vintage Hermes blazer. It's oversized for me. I bought it in a little bit too big of a size. But do we care? Definitely not. I think oversized blazers are chic. Pair this with a little wool skirt. We'll get to that later. And you will be the chicest girly in the city. I just hit my head with this blazer, but we cannot blame such a stunning piece, right? Just bring out your wool blazers. Wear them as jackets in fall when it gets a little bit colder and you will be so happy about it. Then there's this thing that we cannot skip over when we're talking about fall staples. Fall staples, in my mind, equal a trench coat. A trench coat is just everything. I think a chic trench coat, like if you buy a good quality trench coat in a color, in a material, in a silhouette that suits you, you will have that piece forever and ever. I promise you. Like, okay, you have a casual outfit, you put on a trench coat, you take that outfit from meh to oh my gosh, stunning, you know? I think this is not for everyone. This is probably one of those things that you're either like, oh my gosh, that is a stupid purchase. Or you're like, oh my gosh, stunning. So do let me know which camp you are. <laughs> but essentially, like this is my favorite color. I don't know if it's just me who like, I've, maybe I've just not grown up yet, but I think buy something like this in your favorite color because like when you see something in your favorite color in your wardrobe, you're just staring at it and you're just like, oh my gosh, I need to wear that every single day of my life. Like when you were little, you had those little sparkly like heels. Did you have those too? They were like pink, sparkly. They were like a plasticky material, L literally. I thought I was a princess. That's, that's kind of how I feel about this too. I, I see this as like the sparkly little pink shoe in my wardrobe, even though I know it's a trench coat, right? But just follow along. <laughs> But this, I just look at it and I'm like, tee, this is so cute. Literally, I'm obsessed. I think this, once again, if I have a meh outfit and I put this on, it's like, OMG, stunning. Honestly, I think this trench coat is just brilliant. I Like I said, buy a trench coat in your favorite color, wear it with everything, literally. You will be so happy about it, I think. Neutrals, yay neutrals. We adore a neutral. You know, I like 90% of what I wear are neutrals. But can I just have a petition for like making cherry red a neutral? Am I the only one who's signing up or, or who else is signing up? I think cherry red should be a neutral or Bordeaux, I like to call it, but the internet likes to call it cherry red, right? But Bordeaux is a natural color. Obviously, Bordeaux wine, that's nature. It's like a grape, you know? So natural colors, neutrals, things that exist in nature, grapes, wine. Yes, it, ma it makes total sense. It's a full circle moment. So the petition for making Bordeaux red things a neutral has started. Sign up in the comments below. No, I'm, I'm delirious at this point. Maybe I'm a little bit too caffeinated today. Maybe that's what it is. But honestly, this cherry red trench coat is everything. Buy a, it doesn't have to be a Bordeaux colored trench coat, right? But buy a, or maybe you have something, maybe your mom has something that she doesn't wear. Go into your little kind of archive of clothes. Check if you have a little trench coat in a nice color, bring that out. Look secondhand, I got this. This is a Burberry trench coat, right? I got this in a little thrift shop in Stockholm. Can you imagine that I found this? Was it like 200 euros or something? It was not like one of those like hunter or gatherer kind of thrift shops where you're just like roaming around everything. Like it was a little bit more of a curated one, right? But still, this for 200 euros. Like, I think the girl math is saying that this has paid for itself. Like, I am earning money every time I wear this because one of these new, is that not like 2,000 euros or even more? Like 3,000 probably at the rate that Burberry is increasing its pricing. I also have the neutral cousin to this trench coat. This is my Burberry Sandringham, right? Yes, trench coat. And the honey color, this is as classic as it gets. I'm not saying do not have a classic trench coat. I'm saying it's very, very nice to have a trench coat in your favorite color because you will have so much fun. 
and styling, it's all about play, literally. Styling should be fun. If you think like putting together outfits is not fun, maybe you have not spent enough time just rummaging through your wardrobe, putting on cute outfits, being happy about them, snapping a little photo, showing your friends, and everyone is like, oh my gosh, cute, you know? <laughs> Maybe posting it to your Instagram story and getting everyone like hearting it and sending like fire emojis and stuff like that. I mean, style is all about having fun. So a colorful trench coat, OMG, so fun. This, OMG, so practical, so chic, so like everyday office. I was gonna say siren, but I hate that. But okay, just an overall office chic vibe for every day. <laughs> That's what we're gonna say. Now, in terms of the actual ensemble, right? The trench coats, the blazers, we wear these as outerwear for fall, right? I mean, obviously, one cannot get through fall without a turtleneck. For me personally, it's gonna be either a merino wool or a cashmere turtleneck. I think if you're looking at something like an acrylic, something like a polyester, something like a nylon turtleneck, just look the other direction and search for something in a natural fiber because is it just me but essentially an acrylic sweater for one it will lose its shape two it will kind of be a little bit scratchy three if it gets dry in the air and cold it will start like becoming like electricity in it. Do you know what I mean? When it kind of crackle and pops, you know, the fabric, you will not have that with a natural fiber. Just look on the pre-loved market or even like in Uniqlo. This little turtleneck is from Uniqlo. I think it's, how much is it? I think it, is it 39 euros? I would have to refresh my memory on the Uniqlo website. It's chic, I can wash it in the washing machine. Uh, a gentle cycle. It's holding up great. The color has beautiful saturation. The material is soft and it's nice and it's like one of those, you know, thin knits that it's keeping you warm, but it's also breathing with you, you know? So you don't feel trapped. You don't feel like you're sitting in a plastic bag. You feel like you can live life comfortably and you can breathe. <laughs> We all need to breathe, okay? <laughs> also, cashmere sweaters. Cashmere sweaters are a life. Cashmere sweaters are, where do I even begin? Essentially, a cashmere sweater, a sweater for fall, right? It's not only a sweater, it's also a chic accessory, as we discussed in that accessorizing video to tie around your shoulders. It's just a win-win. Get yourself a high quality sweater. It does not have to be expensive. Like you can find a high quality sweater at a decent price, like go to Uniqlo, check secondhand for your favorite brands like last fall. I bought this sweater, I'm gonna pop up a little video of me wearing it, but I found this sweater, right? It's Brunello Cuccinelli, I found it for like 100 euros. Those sweaters are like a thousand or something, it's ridiculous, but you can find them. In great condition, pre-loved, I don't know what it is, but like the clothing items that end up on pre-loved sites, they do not cost what they should cost, you know? And I am taking full advantage, so if someone sells it for a price that I feel is a decent price. I guess it's a win-win because they can declutter it, I can get it, I can wear it. It's it's just it's just a good time, you know? With that cashmere sweater, obviously we're wearing either like a skirt, a wool skirt, or a wool pair of slacks. I think, depending on your style, right? I think a wool skirt for fall doesn't have to be one of those like thick plushy wools. It can also be like a thin weave wool. Maybe I will get you something too to kind of clarify what I'm talking about. First one is a Tiger of Sweden one. Can you believe this is 100% wool? No, you cannot because when you think of a wool skirt, you think of this. This is a Gantt skirt. Also a Swedish brand. Oh my gosh, look at us go with the kind of Scandi vibe brands. This is a wool skirt. Do you see the kind of fluffiness to it? So this I think is so cozy for fall, but equally I think this is so chic for fall. Obviously a wool skirt in this type of knit, it will give more streamlined vibes than this. This will give cozy vibes. This will give like chic streamlined vibes, right? Skirts for fall. Once again, groundbreaking, but we're not talking about anything groundbreaking. We're just talking about those staples that are great to have. Personally, I adore a skirt in a little bit of an A-line fit. A-line mini skirts, I should say. I am a mini skirt person. I know not everyone is into the mini skirt. If you don't want to wear a mini skirt, wear a maxi or a midi or whatever you feel comfortable in, right? 
What will keep you a little bit warmer though is a wool skirt, so do keep that in mind. If you don't wanna be warm, wear something else. <laughs> This is not a pair of wool slacks. These are my Uniqlo linen and cotton blend slacks. These I've worn so much this summer and I think in fall you can continue to wear these types of things. Right, if it starts to get a little bit cooler, maybe pair it with a cashmere turtleneck and you feel warm on the top of your top half of your body and a little bit cooler. So you have it balancing out, especially for me. Like I get cold up here, my legs, they can survive, right? So I think if you have a favorite pair of slacks that you wore this summer that are cotton or linen or something like that, don't be afraid to keep wearing them. No one will laugh at you. You will be super comfortable. It's one of those things, right? I think don't box yourself in when it comes to like, this is a summer garment. This is a fall garment. No, just keep wearing your favorite things as long as you feel comfortable in them, right? I think that makes the most sense. Lastly, shoes. Shoes for fall. It's one of those things, right? If you live in a climate where it's still warm, continue to wear your summer favorites, right? If you live in a country where it's cold, yay, we can bring out the boots. I adore a pair of boots. But I know for most people, I guess fall is still like sneaker and loafer type season or ballet flats or whatever you prefer, right? But for me, Fall is loafer season. For me, fall is also sneaker season. Every season is sneaker season for me. A cute loafer or like a boat shoe. I know that's a trend right now, but honestly, I don't care if it's a trend or not. Like boat shoes, I think are classics. Boat shoes, I think are those pieces that, like my dad always wear boat shoes and he does not care if it's a trend or not. Did I say wear? I mean wears. English, OMG, who is she? But essentially, boat shoes, yes. Sneakers, yes. Loafers, yes. Boots, yes. Whatever is suitable for your climate, just wear it, right? Continue to wear your favorites. We don't need to buy new shoes for fall. Fall is one of those in-between seasons where you either lean either summer favorites or winter favorites or a little bit of both because the weather goes in and out, right? So wear all your favorite boots, your favorite sneakers, your favorite little Maybe not open-toed shoes, depending on the weather, right? I would not wear, I, I never wear an open-toed shoe. Who am I kidding? Then for the all year round staples, right? We need good quality denim. We need a few good quality handbags, right? To carry our items in or just be a cute accessory to our outfits. And we need cute jewelry, right? As you have seen on my channel in many, many videos, I always wear like a little bit too chunky jewelry for the occasion. I'm one of these people, right? My outfits are streamlined, they're minimal, they're classic, they're chic, they're elegant, if I do say so myself, pretty polished. But when it comes to my jewelry, oh my gosh, I love everything sparkly. Like my parents, they're like, your style is so great, but oh my gosh, your jewelry, you're, you're like a moth to a flame with like everything sparkly and I I adore a sparkly vibe, okay? I think dressing up your outfits with jewelry is so powerful, which is why I'm so happy to partner with Miss Blue on this video. Miss Blue is a fine jewelry company that creates high quality jewelry from lab grown gemstones, right? Lab grown gemstones are the future. I think mining for real diamonds does not feel very 2024 to me for some reason. I think moissanite jewelry, like I've tried some moissanite jewelry before. Moissanite jewelry, it just has, you, you know, when the, the sparkle in moissanite jewelry, I think actual jewelry people call it fire, right? The fire from the stones with a real diamond, right? It has a kind of white fire or sparkle, right? With moissanite, you have this kind of, I will insert some clips, but you have this like rainbow sparkle that I think is just so pretty. It sparkles like there's no tomorrow. My friends, when I've worn these jewelry pieces, they're like, oh my gosh, that is so sparkly. Like who gave you these things? Do you have a secret boyfriend? I'm like, no, I just worked with Miss Blue on a video. And this jewelry is so stunning, honestly. I picked out a little one carat moissanite ear earring, right? The little stud earrings. I've wanted a pair of new stud earrings for such a long time. When I saw these one carat ones, I'm like, that is the perfect everyday jewelry piece. Miss Blue, they have as a concept that jewelry should be accessible and affordable to everyone, which, I mean, we all know real diamonds are 
not really accessible and affordable, but moissanite jewelry. It is basically just as durable as a diamond. These one carat little studs I think are so chic. I think this like it sparkles beautifully. It's one of those pieces that like I can see myself wearing today. I can see myself wearing it when I'm literally 70 years old. These are silver with moissanite. So they're quite affordable. They're probably more affordable than you're thinking when you're seeing them in the, in the viewfinder. I'm looking in the viewfinder. You're looking in the camera when you see them on your screen. <laughs> but these, oh my gosh, so stunning. And right now you might be looking at my ring being like, oh my gosh, is she engaged? This is an engagement ring. I am not engaged, but this is in the engagement ring section of Miss Blue, right? This is one of those rings that when I saw it, I'm like, oh my God, that's gorgeous. I'm wearing it like not on my left hand, right? So it's, it's just a little YouTube ring. It's just a little Miss Blue ring for me, right? It's just one of those that I think is gorgeous. It has a one carat moissanite right in the middle. And then essentially you have a little pave band, like a double pave. This is just stunning. The sparkle from this ring is out of this world, similar to my emerald ring that I picked out. I've wanted an emerald ring for such a long time. I think in my, was it like my 2022 luxury wish list? I said that I wanted a emerald ring. This is a lab grown emerald, right? With moissanite stones around it. Do you see this ring? This is absolutely gorgeous. This looks like an heirloom piece, which is exactly what I said that I wanted. Now you see my ugly hand. I went canoeing. <laughs> I went canoeing and my hand has been suffering ever since. Like all my nails broke off. I got like literal wounds on my hand. <laughs> I was actually wearing the Miss Blue ring and it literally has, can you see, it literally has zero scratches or anything on it. But like I wore this ring canoeing because it was like a work event type thing and I was wearing this ring and I didn't take it off but literally the ring held up beautifully my hand is wounded <laughs> very uncool to like be breaking at the seams like me as a person from canoeing for like an hour but okay like I sit here in my living room talking about sparkly things in my spare time so you know to each their own like let's move on i adore these jewelry pieces i think these are gorgeous these feel like heirloom pieces like when people see me wearing them i see that they're staring like a little bit extra much on my fingers or on my ears because they're probably admiring the sparkle the packaging is so cute so you get like a bigger box you get a smaller box this is the earring box, right? So you have, you get the different backings, right? You get like a flat back, you get like a normal little thingy-mabob, I don't know what they're called, but you get a bunch of different like backings to it, whatever, like whatever floats your boat kind of a thing, which is so cute. It's like this icy blue color, oh my gosh stunning this is the ring box if someone is getting engaged like having this type of ring box oh my gosh stunning literally like it feels like a high quality box like it's a heavy box you also get a little bag so it does make for a gorgeous gift you get a little like travel pouch you get a little like cloth to, I don't know, dust off your jewelry. You also get a little ring sizer, which is great. Like I have a few ring sizers, right? But once in a while, some of my friends come over and they're like, oh my gosh, your rings are so cute. I, I don't know what size I am. I'm like, you can have a ring sizer. Here you go. You know, so it's, it's a great little thing to have. Then you get a little thank you note and stuff like that, which is always cute, obviously, because we're friends. I have made sure to get you a discount code. If you want to try out anything from Miss Blue, you can use my code Seedler15 to get 15% off site-wide. These already affordable, stunning jewelry pieces. So do check that out in case you're interested if you want a little bit extra sparkle in your life. And uh, Miss Blue, thank you so much for working with me and for gifting me these fabulous jewelry pieces. I am looking forward to wearing them for years to come. And handbags, it's an effortless, similar to jewelry, right? It's, it's an effortless way to pump your outfit up a notch, right? Or like 10 notches, right? Because 
sparkly jewelry and a gorgeous handbag. Clearly, it's, it's just a vibe and it's a mood and it's a lifestyle. I think for fall specifically, there are a few different types of handbags that I'm looking forward to wearing. Obviously, anything deliciously brown in a soft material. Oh my gosh, looking forward to wearing that for fall so much. That is not unique, but what I'm also looking forward to wearing. I think fall is a beautiful time to bring out a beautiful time, look at me go, to bring out little like pops of color bags, especially in your favorite colors, similar to the discussion on the trench coat, right? I think bringing out something in your favorite color, it's just one of those, once again, it's, it's the sparkly shoe when I was five years old for me. Like you just see this in your collection, this specific one is a Cartier bag. Why is everyone not obsessed with Cartier bags? Like, I personally do not get it. It's a gorgeous brand. They're gorgeous handbags. It's a vintage bag. They cost like nothing. This one I got for like 200 euros on the pre-loved market. I know one of you guys that I love to chat with in the comments, you got one on Vinted for, was it like 180 euros or something? So these are just stunning bags for a great price from a brilliant brand, right? So I, I don't get why everyone is not raving about Cartier vintage bags. Like this is a bag from the 90s. How cool is that, you know? And especially like when Cherry Red is having a moment in 90s, is having a moment in fashion, excuse you? Like, why is everyone not obsessed? Like, I personally do not get it. <laughs> also, a stolen bag. This is my mom's bag. I think this is gorgeous for fall. This is giving, like, being out in the forest. It's giving countryside, specifically English countryside. It's giving, like, a barber coat, a pair of Wellington boots, and, like, this bag. Stunning, gorgeous, obsessed. Or just a day in the city center, just popping out for your errands and stuff. Honestly, so cute. I bought this in Italy this year and this is just my everything. This is my obsession. This is my Luciano Soprani little navy blue bag. Who knew I needed a little kind of mock croc navy blue bag from Italy. But I did, and I'm so happy that I have this now. So this is just everything for fall. This is everything for every season, a navy blue bag. Obsessed. But like I said, year-round favorites, year-round staples. Go get yourself a high-quality bag. It does not have to be an Hermes bag, right? It can be something that's affordable from the pre-loved market. That's just a little bit unique, and that adds, like, that oomph that like personality to your otherwise made up of staples outfits right that is it i'm gonna stop rambling i have been literally rambling for 40 minutes how can i have been speaking for 40 minutes about like five things my youtube channel is not for the faint of heart obviously if you made it this far i i applaud you i salute you i thank you for spending this time and space with me what are your fall staples? I would love to know. Please continue the discussion in the comments. Fall is my favorite season. Fall is when I come to life. I don't know what this 20 degree weather is. I do not support it. I am here in my turtleneck. If you've not had enough of me just yet, then I will link another video right here in case you've not already seen it. If you like this chat with me, consider giving the video a little thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. I will see you back here with a new video next Sunday at 3 p.m. Swedish time. And until then, stay safe, take care, and I will see you soon. Bye!